Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be trying a brand. We're doing a big haul of a brand. I feel like it hasn't been a long time since I've done this, but it might have been a long time since I've done this. I don't know. I used to do this a lot, a lot, a lot, and I thought, let's bring it back. My Dr. Seuss, I'm rhyming a lot right now. So today we are going to be trying out a brand that I feel like is more Instagram brand. I'm not exactly sure if it even is pop. Actually, I should check. I shouldn't just hand out facts with no truth. Okay, so they have 1.5 million followers on Instagram, and based on the clothing, I would say it's very Instagram baddie-esque. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this an Instagram brand. So if you missed it in the title, today we are trying Tiger Mist. Everything looks so great on all the models, but the question is, will it look good? on me. <laughs> we don't know, but we're gonna find out. Now, I believe that this is also an Australian brand. Everything was initially in Australian monies, but now I switched it to Canadian. And now it's kind of like a middle of the road prices. It's not really inexpensive and it's not super expensive. Though I would air it on the side of a little bit more pricey. There is a big middle of the road and we're in it. I feel like I'm really, really off topic already. Like. I don't know. So I have this big package from Tiger Mist. I got quite a few things, lots of shirts, lots of pants, lots of dresses. Dresses is a really big thing. There's like so many cute dresses on Tiger Mist. I kept having to ask myself, would you wear this? Because yes, it looks great, but would I wear it? Probably not. So I tried to get stuff that I feel like I would actually wear or that you guys would actually be interested in. So without further ado, let's get into this. We're gonna try on everything, see what the quality is, see if it's worth the money. Let's get into it. Snip, snip, let's get in. All right, quite a few pieces in here. Let's go ahead and grab the first item. Now I remember these. Now I, as you guys know, I've been buying a lot of jeans lately so i didn't want to get too many but these ones looked special to me the model was really really pulling out all the stops she convinced me entirely to purchase these they're kind of like this loose boyfriend mom jean type it's got these big holes right on the knees and also distressed throughout this is like the perfect blue jean like it looks kind of like farmer like I don't know I feel like a farmer would wear these jeans and also an Instagram baddie would wear these jeans an interesting pairing I don't know they feel good quality they don't have a ton of give to them um, as you know boyfriend and mom jeans often will be kind of like a thicker denim and these are no exception to that so why don't we just put these on and see how they fit I got them in a size small which is interesting because usually denim is like either like the 24, 25, 26 and up, or it's like the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that kind of thing. But this is like small, medium, large. So I feel like that can be kind of vague. So let's see. All right, guys, so we have Jinko jeans, like half, half, half brothers, cousin, twice removed pants. I really like them. Surprisingly, they fit really great. Like the waist is honestly like the perfect size for me. And I've been like making a conscious effort to not buy pants that have the waist so tight because it's just so uncomfortable. And these are great because I have like a little bit of room, but they still are not like falling off of me. So if you're my size, the small will definitely fit you. Everyone else, please look at the size chart because I have no idea how it will fit. But these are super, super comfortable. They're totally like a wide, straight pant. I love the distress. The model was like totally doing something to make them look really extra, but I won't even try. So yeah, I really like these. Honestly, they get a thumbs up. I think they're great. Okay, and I weirdly can actually remember a lot of these pieces, which is so bizarre. Usually when I'm shopping for something, I'll completely forget what I got by the time I got it here. But I can actually remember picking out this dress. Maybe it's because the pattern is so adorable. It's got this little like, would you say keyhole? Is this like a keyhole? <laughs> Are these daisies? They're the flower with like white petals and a yellow inside. And this is like a mini dress and it kind of feels like, like a soccer uniform. Like it's like got this mesh over top of a like athletic stretchy fabric. It's a very interesting, I was not expecting it. It's like not your usual bodycon fabric. So let us put this on and see what it looks like. It's so slippery. All right, usually I don't feel like bodycon dresses are really my personal style, 
But this one I really like because it's not your average like really short. It definitely goes to like the fingertips, which I like. And then if you wanted it to be shorter, you could pull it up and just kind of ruffle it a little bit at the bottom just to make it a little bit shorter. But me personally, like I like that it has that extra length to it because sometimes you're like bending over and like grabbing things and it's just like I'm fully flashing everyone behind me and I just don't think they appreciate it. So I like having a little bit of extra fabric. It's a really, really nice, comfortable fabric. Like I said, it is like an athletic mesh fabric. It's actually really weird because this is like, I totally would think I was like going to work out, but like I don't work out in skirts. But other than that, like it seriously feels like athletic fabric. I like it. Okay, this fabric is so adorable. It actually feels just like the last dress we tried on where it has like this really, really nice soft uh, dainty mesh and then also this athletic stretchy fabric. I was expecting these to feel like kind of like a stretchy t-shirt cotton material, but it's very much not that. I wish I would have had this for Valentine's Day because it's this red with these little pink hearts. It's so cute. This is one of those tops that you usually would like not wear something underneath. What is going on here? It looks like there's like a little bit of an issue. I don't know if that's just me looking too closely at it, but it does look kind of weird. Let me zoom in. Can you see what I'm talking about right here with this like white showing? It's also right here. Weird, I don't know what that is. I feel like you wouldn't notice that when you're actually wearing it, but just up close, it's kind of strange. It's almost like you can see the inner seam of the shirt. But uh, yeah, these are those types of shirts that a lot of people don't wear shirts underneath. So when I try it on, I'll try it on like that. But you definitely could just wear this like over top of a shirt. All right, you guys. So I regret to inform you and also I'm excited to inform you that the first time ever in the existence of my life, I'm too gifted up top for a shirt. So I'm actually blowing out of this top. <laughs> I mean me blowing out of this top. Um, this is a lot for me. So when I was like pulling it to shut it like this, it's like, I'm too, I'm too gifted up top. Did you ever think you'd hear that on this channel? Me neither. I honestly just bought the wrong size. Like it's too small. Like if it doesn't fit me, then that's saying something because I have nothing, literally nothing. This shirt I would size up in because personally it's too small for me. I think it's so cute though. Like I love the ruching, would have been a really nice Valentine's Day look. And honestly, I will keep it. I'll just wear it as like a little overcoat. A little over sweater. Okay, this I don't know what it is. I think it's just like, oh yeah. It's a collared basic crop top that has like the buttons halfway up and it's this really, really stretchy fabric. Not an athletic fabric this time. It's definitely like a cotton knit knit type of fabric. I feel like this is going to be a new favorite. I really like this. It feels super slouchy, super comfortable. I love collars also. I don't know why. That was the tag smashing the table. Okay, put it on. Okay, I love this. I love this. I love this! This is nice. And so stretch, you guys. Like, uh, whoops, did I flash anyone during that? Seriously, you can stretch this thing. This fabric is no joke. I feel like if you were going golfing as an Instagram baddie, you would wear this top. It's got the pleats in it, the buttons stop right here. It's got a collar, you can pop it. it looks weird popped actually. Don't pop it. Do whatever you want, but I wouldn't. It's obviously very cropped because these are high-waisted jeans. There's my belly button. It can have an appearance, so it's very cropped. I like it a lot. And even like the sleeves are kind of like cut so that your armpit is like out in the open exposed, but also so your shirt won't get sweat on it. These design people are getting smarter. Okay, let's bring a little bit of color into the mix. Here is a really, really light bright yellow. This is so adorable and it's kind of the same idea as that heart shaped top where it's got these two little clasps at the front and you would choose to do it by either one or two. It's got a very, very deep plunging neckline. It's a really nice stretchy soft fabric. Like seriously, this feels so, so comfortable. I would have no problem wearing this fabric head to toe. So, and I like the yellow. I feel like I got this because I was getting a lot of neutrals. So here we go. Bright color. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm totally loving this color, first of all. It's so, so stretchy, so soft, this fabric. And like, it looks great with these pants. Like, I feel like if you're gonna get this top, get these pants because they look really good together. It looks like, like a cute, like, 
2003 moment like if I was this age in 2003 I would hope that I would be wearing this I really like this top I think it's really scandalous though like I would be very worried that one of these clasps would undo oh my goodness see I just undid one and I wasn't even trying like they're not secure so like personally I would probably still wear a bra just in case like the clips just flew um I wouldn't want to flash everyone like I wish there was just like one more clip though Maybe I'll add one. This is another dress. Now this is a very interesting, confusing, lovely, I'm so confused. It's like a wrap dress. As you can see, it's wrapping around right here. It's got the tie up. And I believe that it's going to be a low neckline and then you just wrap it around. Wrap dresses are great because like, they can fit like many different sizes like a small would fit a wide range, medium would fit a lar large range, and then large would fit a large range, etc, etc, etc. So that's nice. Um, this is a really cool fabric. It's got like this velvet on top that's making these little paisley details. This is so cute. It's so purple too, which is like I don't think I have any purple dresses, so let's put this on. I think it's also a mini dress. Okay, so here is this on. I love the way that this velvet feels. I keep accidentally flashing my bra though. I don't know why. I just feel like I can't get it tight enough for me. Um, but anyways, this has like a nice long skirt. It goes right to my fingertips. It's a wrap dress. I feel like it's kind of got like a skater skirt feeling to it where it just falls and flares out a little bit. It's a nice light dress. It feels really nice and I love the wrap part because you tie it really tight at the beginning of the night and then like if you're like, you know, you've been eaten, then you can like loosen it. So I like that. What? is this this is bizarre what is this oh my gosh for a second i was like is this a tank top because seriously you guys this is like the thickest fabric it almost feels like it could be like the cousin of cardboard it's like it's definitely softer than cardboard but it was like way too thick to be a shirt like that was so confusing but I remember it's actually a skirt that is sort of like overall style like it goes down from your shoulders into a skirt so yeah that was confusing I thought this was like the thickest tank top I ever did see I'll put it on real quick okay for this can we just ignore this yellow shirt because personally I don't have just like a crop top without anything here right now so there is gonna be these holes and like these gaps but I personally think if you're wearing this probably would be a good idea to either wear it with like a full sleeve with no like weird openings right here just because it does get kind of confusing when you're tucking it in but that being said this is so comfortable and so cute and I feel like it kind of gives you like an hourglass shape because the skirt does pleat out well not pleat but it like puffs out a little bit and then it has this one slit right here and then it goes in really tight on the inside and then it's kind of like an illusion of these going out i feel like this is a sleek outfit minus the top we are back into the athletic feeling tops here is this one this is so cute the model picture definitely sold me on this it's got a ton of ruching down the front that will really really make your waist look tiny and then it's a turtleneck you guys know I love turtlenecks it's red which I don't usually gravitate towards red but I mean like why not be eye-catching and fun in a red top let's see what it looks like okay so we've got the turtleneck on this is such a comfortable fabric I've said it before I'll say it again this athletic fabric is great like honestly if I was like blindfolded and put this on I would assume it was a workout top I think that you're supposed to tie these with like however much ruching you want to be right here so I'm comfortable with the amount of ruching that it has right now so I will just tie those up it's super comfortable I love the turtleneck I will say my head almost blew out the turtleneck when I put it on so big-headed people out there like me these are small turtlenecks but we can get in it's okay and last but certainly not least I got a white dress now I try not to buy white dresses because they just don't stay clean and also the only time I really wear dresses is to weddings and I'm not gonna wear white because I will not be that person at the wedding but I got a white dress I guess I just couldn't contain myself it's ruched all the way through almost exactly actually like that shirt we just tried on 
but it's a full length dress and it's also not a turtleneck sadly we wish it was a turtleneck but it's ruched it's got the tie ups at the bottom feels nice and thick it's gonna be nice because i don't think it will be see-through so right now it just looks like a ruching mess so let's put it on okay so no joke probably my entire nose contour is probably like right here in this dress because when I was putting it over my head because it's no like zipper or anything when I was putting it over my head there was so much fabric from all these ruches that it was just like so tight so you might need assistance getting into this dress it's like a no problems mini dress like you know it doesn't you don't worry about falling out anywhere it's very very tight yet comfortable I think this is like if I was gonna wear like a mini dress this would be it. All right, you guys, so that has been trying on and showing a bunch of clothing from Tiger Mist. I forgot to say, but this is not sponsored in any way. They don't know I'm doing this. I ordered all this with my own money. But that being said, I really liked everything. I was very, very, very surprised with how everything looked so great, yet was so comfortable. I expected from this brand that everything would look the same, but it wouldn't be super comfortable. But I feel like all the fabrics take into account that you're going to be wearing them. Like they're very comfortable, they're very stretchy, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm super happy with everything that I got. I think there's a few things that aren't my personal style that I probably will be donating, but a lot of this stuff you guys will probably see in future videos. So I would definitely give Tiger Mist a thumbs up. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any other brands that you guys are interested in, make sure to comment them down below so I can try them out. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Bye. <laughs> Why did it get so weird? I don't know. I made it weird. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.